What's up, YouTube? Well, Beth made me here, and today, just a lot of people have been asking me about if you haven't seen my Xenoverse or Project Xenoverse, that's what I changed the name to. If you haven't seen those videos, then you notice that characters see are like in one slot. A lot, a lot of them, especially a uh, big YouTuber named Dark Knight. Um, he's been asking me how do I put characters in one slot, and not just him. A lot of people have been asking him wanting to know how I put characters in one slot. And how do I do a bunch of different things with that and the simple thing before we get into I want to talk about today's sponsors Raid <laughs> I'm gonna talk about today's sponsor Raid Shadow Legends you, you know the game the game with the 4k graphics that all the youtubers are sponsored with their their top notch con <coughs> it choked on my spit. It was it was a joke, it was a joke. It was not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. But, but can we take a second to talk about how every YouTuber is being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? They they swear that game has like 4K graphics with console level graphics. 120 frames per second. I tried the game. The graphics aren't aren't that. They cap they cap about the graphics part a lot. But so basically, which I want to do is to, you know basically set this up. Is is it, it, it you're not using moving 1.0. No, you're not using beta. You're not using win moving. You're not using 1.1. You're using a different moving application or moving what what a software engine called Eichmann Go, Eichmann Go Plus, but most people refer to it as Eichmann. Am I, am I pronouncing that right? I-K-E-M-E-N? -E is it silent? But, yeah, so, what you want to gonna do, I'm gonna link all this down in the description below. You just go to Eichmann. I think they changed the website too. You know, you just type in Eichmann, go download it, and you'll see basically either GitHub or Moogie. You want to go GitHub where it says Wimplay G G R O one. No, it's gonna send you to GitHub. Then you're gonna go to releases right here. It's on zero. It's on 0 0.9700 as of June seventh, a couple weeks ago. And you see a bunch of different um, wind movies, and I'm 100% sure that it only works. On, it works for 64 bit. I don't know about 32 bit, but you're gonna simply download where it says Eichmann Go 0. 0 0.970 and then after that I already have a download so I'm not gonna give you a good quick run around how to set up and all that then you can also go to the wiki here where it also gives you you know it's gonna send you to their link down there they have a bunch of different things okay you wanna scroll down with the screen pack features because the because what wind moving well, not moving what I move words Eichmann Go uses is basically a mix of you know regular old Mugen and Eichmann Go uses the select system death and all that just no Mugen CFG they have their own thing going on and it has like you know more options more modes just a bunch of different stuff that here that regular Mugen doesn't have so you're gonna go down or just press con press control F you know, search screen pack features it'll bring you right down here get rid of that is new parameters disabling elements group just click on one they're all gonna be grouped up into one i'm gonna scroll down see when you see here there's a bunch of different modes arcade team team co-op team co-op versus team versus versus co-op free battle tournament mode reserved not implemented yet so i'm waiting for that tournament mode options they got a bunch of different more options than regular moving hat as you see right here select that parameters and options reserved to the select that inside of it so we're gonna slightly exit out of my browser there so we're not even gonna go to the one we downloaded or if you downloaded it and wanna you know add the characters making the screen pack is the same way but with a bunch of different options sorry i got i'm about to burp i'm trying not to it just has a bunch of different more options we'll go to down the later date but most people want to know so we're gonna go here you know i gotta change the name of the folder so this, it, no project universe you know you know what i'm doing so you want to go to data you're gonna see a bunch of different stuff uh a bunch of new stuff, um, dot, um, a bunch of dot Z, S, S, there's a bunch of different files, we'll get into those later. 
but as you can see the select death is still there because they're still using the select death so right here we're gonna open that up make it bigger for you see zoom in on the characters yada 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 where it says order music include stages music include stages order so look right here they give you an example on this basically how to that for y'all so right here they're gonna give you an example so usually the code starts off as slot they know you're gonna space out go to the bottom you're gonna add goku and then you know you're gonna add what's this a comma space previous because eichmann does have a, has more has like about like three to four different controls that mugen doesn't have or no you're gonna put next Space out previous equals W. Then you know keep adding characters, and that's how it's gonna know until you end it with that little mark right there. I, I don't I don't know what that is. And then that'll basically be one slot. Or if you're well, if you're just adding one character, then there's no need to put this code in. Just do it the regular way. But if you're adding multiple characters in, like Vegeta next equals D previous W. And then, see if you had a Goku and a Vegeta character, it will cycle between them two. Okay, I had to search up what that symbol are. So apparently, they're called brackets. So, if I scroll, if you scr if I scroll down to my character selecting, what it looks like, you know. And also, you cannot use V select because V select does not recognize, um, you know, Eichmann's, you know, the application. So you have to do everything yourself. Um, so random select, you see slot. All characters are in one slot and you can cycle through them pressing D and W those will be the default controls but if you done change it whatever buttons are set to D and W in your settings are gonna be the buttons you cycle with. so for me it's one and two so one will be the next transformation D or and two will go back and see I got Goku and he Goku here um comma next equals D previous D space you, have, you got a space, you don't keep going on, you gotta go space. Go Kaioken, same thing. Dynamic, same thing. Go Super Saiyan, same thing. Super Saiyan 3. Next, and then end it with that slot again. That'll be the next slot. Goku UI, Goku MUI, next slot. Goku GT, Goku G64, next slot. Vegeta, next slot. Mod Vegeta. So I'm gonna hop into it and I'm gonna show you guys everything. Okay, like I said. So basically there's a lot of moments, that's why I got it like no versus player one, team versus local match, all that. There's just more modes and all like mo there's just more modes in general. So if we go to training, you see Goku, he's right there, I'm on top of him. If I simply just press one, boom, cut can one again, Namek, boom again, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Super Saiyan Gods, Goku, Goku F and F Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue. A different super sample for super goku ui ultra instinct these are just something new i started new characters i added in ultra instinct got the animated portraits again more stuff will be in later videos goku gt goku gt super saiyan 4 vegeta scouter vegeta base vegeta super saiyan majin vegeta or as xenoverse terms prince of destruction goku f um vegeta f and f super saiyan super saiyan blue and then the future Gohan that I made a video on, that shouldn't go there. That, that'll so I hope this video was a little more helpful to those who are asking. It does not work a regular Mugen. Don't try it. I have tried it. It will not work because it doesn't have the same, you know, you know stuff implemented into it that Eichmann has. And I don't think there is a way to do it. So in this case, if we're going to want to do this, you, you have to use Eichmann. It's actually really fun. There's more modes and stuff like that. There's more modes, more features, characters, multiple slots, more more modes coming, tournament mode. There's online mode where you can play with your friends. You don't use Parasect. Has more options in the options menu. Just a bunch of different stuff you can try out. But this is basically how I'm putting characters in one slot. This is a short and sweet tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one.